I walked into the boardroom of my office, microphone all of a sudden in my face, bright lights shining everywhere. This was my first media training experience. Maybe it sounds familiar. It was, you know, a gentleman that had a million years of media experience, a million years of media training experience. And he was there to make me uncomfortable, make me nervous and push me to a point that I wasn't ready to be pushed yet. I was in my early twenties. I was new in a career. I had a great boss that was pushing me to do media interviews. I was excited. It was an exciting time in my career. This experience made me feel horrified, (laughs) horrified for what was going to come when the first media interview came my way in an industry that was pretty controversial or at least had the opportunity to be when someone from the media was shoving a microphone in your face. But honestly, that's not really what media is anymore. And I think you know that too. It was an interesting session. I for sure learned a few things. Also was told to put more eyeliner on so that my eyes would pop. Irrelevant. (laughs) information I didn't need it. Where what I did need was to learn how to be more confident, to learn where to look, how to look at a camera, what to wear, how to be myself, not just to regurgitate a key message and sound like a corporate line or maybe in today's perspective sound like AI. I needed to make it my own and I never learned how to do that. I only learned how to do that for myself after years of experience, after years of just, you know, digging into key messages and finding my own voice. Media has changed. It's changed in a huge way. If my media training experience sounds anything like the media training you've been getting, that microphone and face, hot on, you know, scrum in your face talking to you, you're just not being trained in the way that you need to be trained. Media now is this, being able to talk confidently into a camera, into a screen, that's hard. Being able to stay engaging, being able to be a go-to source for information in a world where journalists are looking for a quick hit, um, they have a lot to do. There's fewer and fewer of them, unfortunately. We need to feed that content machine. As I worked with hundreds of clients over the last decade, what I learned was that their media training wasn't cutting it. So over the past five years, I've been training my clients in what I call modern media, (laughs) this, uh, being able to captivate some of the long lead audiences, being able to just create relationship and become a go-to source. It's been amazing. It's been awesome working with clients to understand the needs of their internal team, but also to identify the strengths of internal team members. You know what? That person that you don't assume may be the best, maybe they are. I have an approach that, you know, we sit together, we have a great conversation uh, for a half day around what media is now, what you need to know, what you need to be prepared for. We work together on key messages and we have a really valuable conversation around how to use those key messages in the right way at the right time, but also so that they sound like you. Sometimes that key message that your boss has thrown in front of you isn't right for you. Not only may you not be the subject matter expert, uh, but you might just not be the person who the key, the key message needs to speak to from a persona or target audience member. We talk through those things. We make sure we're matching the right people to the right topics. Then we do the dreaded one-on-one, but it isn't the one-on-one that you remember, microphone in your face, making you feel uncomfortable. It's about a one-on-one setting you up for success with practical advice, in real time, and then being able to do it again so that you're confident. I don't want people to walk away how I felt. Someone who was so excited to start media in her career left a media training session feeling terrified for what was to come. That shouldn't be the case. Media and conversations like these are only going to become more and more important as media continues to evolve, but also our world of public relations and communications does. Modern media training 
is something I really am passionate about. I've been thrilled to hear the feedback um, from the clients that I've worked with that talk about the fact that, hey, this is actually practical. This is actually the advice I needed. Oh, I didn't know that that's where I was supposed to look when I was on a screen. Oh, I didn't realize that if I stood up during a radio interview on a phone, things would sound and be projected differently. We have those real conversations about what's really going on now. And hey, those practical tips are going to help you in this, creating a social media video or a landing page video. Imagine having the confidence through your modern media training to be able to take it over to all the other places you need to create content or hey, maybe even speak. I'm really excited uh, that you're thinking about this modern media training journey. I'm really excited to meet with you and discuss it with you. It's great for boards, a great way to engage them, find those hidden gems in terms of who is great at speaking to your key messages to your audiences. It's great for your executive teams to make sure that they're ready, especially in a time when crises has happened. You need strong spokespeople ready at a moment's notice. And it's also great for your seasonal teams. You need to make sure that whether they're going to be on camera or not, they have the confidence to speak to your key messages. Maybe it's to guests coming in. Maybe it's to team members or staff members or project leads. They need that confidence too. I'm looking forward to working with you. I'm looking forward to changing your mind about media training. It's going to be fun.